Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Reiboot. If you've ever come across any issues with your iOS device, rather you're constantly stuck on an Apple logo, a reboot loop, a black screen, just stuck, Reiboot offers a standard repair which fix up to 150 iOS issues with no data loss. If you have more serious problems, you have the deep repair which allows you to restore your device back to factory working order and you can enter and exit recovery mode with one single click. So check out Reiboot, links will be in the description down below. Hey guys, I Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And I love when Apple continues to release new software updates in order to improve the user experience for iPhone users. Today, Apple has released a minor update with very important bug fixes, which we'll go over, of course, in this video. iOS 15.0.1 has just been released by Apple. Now, if you're updating from iOS 14 to iOS 15.0.1, this software download could be three to four gigs of a download. You won't be missing four gigs from your iPhone. As always, this is simply overriding the entire OS. However, if your iPhone or iPad is running iOS 15.0 and you're updating to 15.0.1, you could see close to 600 to 700 megabytes of a download. And again, I love when Apple releases new software updates in order to improve the user experience and this is a perfect example of that. But as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and updates, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you do not miss another episode. Now, aside from iOS 15.0.1 for iPhone users, Apple also released iPadOS 15.0.1. Point one. And now there's three major issues that Apple is looking to address with this software. Number one is an issue within settings and storage. The iPhone would display the alert for storage is full when your storage isn't really full. So this software aims to fix a bug within settings that may incorrectly display alerts for storage is full. So if you are having that issue where you go into settings and you constantly see a pop up, your iPhone storage is full, this will address this particular situation. This software also also fixes an issue where the meditations will start randomly. So if you were having issues on your iPhone where meditations within Fitness Plus will start randomly, then this software aims to fix that particular issue. Now, one of the biggest issues that iOS 15.0.1 aims to fix is for those iPhone 13 owners. So iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max. If you've encountered the issue where your Apple Watch just simply was not communicating with your iPhone 13 on iOS 15 to unlock why you're wearing a mask, this particular software update aims to fix this problem for iPhone 13 owners. So mask detection communicating with Apple Watch was an issue on iOS 15 for iPhone 13 owners and this is one of the biggest issues that Apple is looking to address. So now your Apple Watch should communicate properly with your iPhone 13 when you go to unlock your device while you wear a mask. So today 15.0.1 aims to fix these particular issues for the general public. And of course, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like when Apple stays on top of the game where they fix many bugs in order to improve the user experience? Because I'm all for it. I know many users get annoyed with constantly having to update their iPhone, but I think this is a great way for Apple to continue improving the user experience. Again, iPhone 13 owners highly recommend you update. Again, iPad owners, you should update as well. iOS 15.0.1 is now officially out for everyone. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.